a lot of them questioning the efficacy, a lot of them asking about uh, the vaccine itself. How do you respond to the fact that despite the skepticism, despite the questions, you are now saying that there is 92% efficacy to the Sputnik V vaccine? Uh, thank you, Gita. It's great to be here. And again, we are great partners with India. We will produce this vaccine jointly with India for India and for the rest of the world. So it's always a pleasure to be here. Well, 92% is basically the data that speaks uh, not Russia. Obviously, it's a very good efficacy. Anything above 50% is considered to be very good. You know, some flu vaccines are around 30-40% efficacy. So when you talk about efficacy above 90% is very significant. And also this data is confirmed outside of clinical trials because right now Russian people are being vaccinated in parallel to clinical trials. Our doctors and others are receiving vaccine and we also see more than 90% efficacy based on 10,000 doctors who've been vaccinated outside of clinical trials. So okay. definitely very positive uh, good news. And we are hopeful that other data points will also produce uh, positive good data. I will come to the study because we need to understand a little more on what this really means uh, for our viewers to understand it a little more in detail, Carol. But uh, in August, when you registered the vaccine, you said by November, December, we will have it. Are you still confident that it is going to go public soon? Well, already vaccinations in Russia are happening. So we are vaccinating our doctors. You know, we are producing high volumes of vaccine. So right now people are being vaccinated. We expect to vaccinate, uh, you know, as many as maybe 400,000 uh, people in Russia already this month and uh, maybe several million or more next month. So Russia is one of the few countries that is already vaccinating people. And we hope obviously to work uh, with India. We are having our clinical trials there. The vaccine is already delivered to India for clinical trials. So as soon as the regulator approves the vaccine for India, we can start vaccinating people in India as well. And also have this vaccine distributed to other countries that is produced in India. If and when those shots are manufactured in India, will India get the first user's benefit or rights, first movers and manufacturing advantage of get, giving it to Indians first before even thinking of exporting it? Or are we looking at uh, manufacturing in India and exporting it abroad? Because that certainly could be a concern. Uh, well, Git, I think it very much depends on the speed of the regulator and how fast we receive regulatory approval. As soon as we receive regulatory appro approval in India, of course, we'll be supplying Indian market as a priority. But if it takes a longer time to receive regulatory approval in India, initially we'll supply some other markets. So it's more of a question to Indian regulators how fast they will process data from Russia. And we had a great agreement with the Indian regulators that they will really use Russian data is a basis for many of the decisions they're going to make. But of course, as soon as the approval is going to be uh, made, uh, you know, a big part of capacity produced in India uh, will go to India first. Well, so you're saying that the manufacturing will happen and will take place if the regulators approve, then it goes to Indians. If the regulators don't approve, then the manufactured goods will go abroad. Is that is am I have I understood you correctly? Yes, that's correct. Uh, with the exception of you know, we hope for an approval from Indian regulator. So basically, we believe that uh, we'll receive approval and then it will be going to India and to abroad in some proportions that we are discussing with Indian government right now.